All right. We've been at this for two days. Are you sure you found a receipt in the garbage pile? I know exactly what I saw. The receipt had a pile of returned items matching almost everything that was stolen from us. We'd sound insane if we asked if a few words ending in A walked in and sold our stuff, huh? Precisely. Although we may want to try that at some point. Good note. Speaking of taking notes, do you remember that game you reviewed last year? The one that promised updates and... More victors. <laughs> Potentia? Yeah, it's kind of hard to forget a game like that. Didn't you want to give that a replay at some point? Already did! In fact, I brought all the mental notes I took with me so we wouldn't get bored while looking through these wildly expensive gaming treasures that once belonged to us! That's what happens when you etch fart jokes into things. People find those things in the garbage, then sell them to a shop that inflates the price. Some things just aren't worth it. Anyway, Potentia. Potentia is a game that came out in February 2021 that took several inspirations from games such as The Last of Us, The Last of Us 2, The Last of Us DLC, and other such dystopian scavenger games. You follow Victor, the most default protagonist ever, as he survives a fucking nuclear blast and fights his way out of several environments that seem to have no real connection to each other. Using guns, a bow and arrow, guns, grenades, guns, and guns, Victor will murder everyone in his way to rescue his wife after she was captured by evil men. This is a horrendously strange game that truly needed more time before it released. A post from developer Wily Pumpkin even apologized for the sorry state of the game and promised major updates in the future. But it only makes me wonder, did those updates actually happen? 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 After a thorough replay of the game, on hard mode no less, I came to the conclusion that some things changed? That doesn't sound very confident, James. One clear change is to the main character. You see, he looked remarkably like Joel from The Last of Us back in February. After, quote, remarkable changes to Victor's appearance, I can confirm he's... different? Oh, what's changed? His hair. His hair is longer. They made his hair longer. Uh... That's it. His hair may be a different color, but his face shape, which resembles almost every single other male character in the game, is exactly the same. Literally, only his hair changed. Wow. That is quite remarkable. He kind of looks like you now, if your face was made to be painfully generic. Strangely true, actually. Beyond Victor's, uh, major visual updates, being unable to shoot through your friends is an interesting addition. However, if a friend happens to wander within your field of view, you are automatically taken out of aiming down the sights mode. Given that there is no shooting from the hip, you have to realign your sights. It's annoying, but I understand it. So, essentially, the game hasn't changed in over a year. Yeah. Voices, line delivery, strange glitches involving disappearing animals, and the car haven't been patched. Characters still move, sound, and talk awkwardly. Conversations are still made of sentences that sound as though they're from different conversations. This game is still so odd. That's refreshing. I wonder if they'll ever truly update the game. Hey, I found one of our game cubes. The rest should be piled underneath. Let me see. Huh, you're right. I can see one of your fart jokes. <laughs> I like that one. Alright, get ready to empty your wallet. These could cost a fortune. 